are you confused with the placement of your lagnesh do you think your lagnesh is well placed or do you think it is badly placed it is afflicted it is in the debilitation it's in dikbal it's in dikshunya are you confused uh, regarding your ascendant or your ascendant lord after doing so many analysis uh, so much research you know and you are like confused okay this plant is here what will happen this will be there that will happen this can happen that will happen what will happen in the dasha well i have some shortcuts for you 10 shortcuts i've listed by which you can actually identify if your lagnesh is badly placed okay now of course you may have these indications but it does not mean that these indications are just because your lagnesh is badly placed because at the end the overall chart matters but if you have five or six of these you know everybody will have two or three of this okay maybe even four but if you have five six or seven or eight or maybe all of the 10 then it is most likely that your lagnesh is certainly uh, in a bad dignity even if it is well placed it's in a difficult house and uh, or if it's in a good house it is in a difficult sign uh, which means you know you have to really work on yourself get some discipline uh, get fixed up get good guidance on your life because the lagnesh is a very important planet the lagna lord is one of the most important uh, planets in the chart and this further adds to the situation if you are a leo lagna or a cancer lagna because then your lagnesh is either sun moon and then your lagnesh becomes even more important okay because sun and moon are the two other planets which are also most important apart from the lagnesh okay so let's deep dive into it and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and hit the thumbs up at the end of course after watching all the 10 indications and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him irrespective of where and how your lagnesh is placed and for consultations regarding your chart please go to my website down in the description section so what's the first indication this is gold this is this is classic the number one thing is this is the easiest way to identify uh if your lagnesh is well placed or not this is like the sum some total of all these 10 criteria all right so the first point is you say and you don't do things so for example you just casually say something you meet your friend yeah yeah we will meet uh, you know next week or you meet some uh, big person in some uh, event or in some wedding or somewhere and you have some talk regarding your business or your job or something and that person tells you Okay, nice. Uh, 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 send me an email uh, in the upcoming week. Maybe I can help you, or maybe we can do some collab together, or something which can be beneficial to you and me. Or it could be anything. You know, you say something casually. So you tell it, and when it comes to telling, you are master. You you just keep speaking things, but you never implement. You you don't. Nor do you feel the need to implement. You discard them all together. All right. So if you have this habit. then make sure that you speak less you commit less because the more you do this this will spoil your lagna lord and your sun also okay so as uh, in ramayana they say ragukul reet sada chali ai pran jay par vachan na jay which means like in the ragu vamsha in lord ram's dynasty there is a big uh, it is like a big uh, social custom where uh, you you follow whatever you said okay like dashrath maharaj had uh, given uh, he had promised uh, boons to kk and then when kk had uh, demanded those boons he had to kind of fulfill even though he didn't want them uh, okay uh, so therefore if you have this problem that please under promise and always try to over deliver rather than over promising and under delivering okay very bad now second uh, thing is similar to this but <coughs> it's a bit lesser version of this okay you procrastinate always procrastination and then you are always giving excuses so you say okay i will do this but then due to some reason you don't do it or you feel okay uh, i said i will do it you know but maybe i can do it later so if you are doing this then also your lagnesh is very badly placed because you know the importance of doing something but somehow you uh, don't have that 
willpower to actually come and do. In the first case, you don't even have any willpower, okay? You don't even have the intention, you just say things, okay? But in the second case, it's a bit better, but still you do not have the energy. Even then, there's a problem with your lagna lot. All right, number three, you do not feel the need to do any planning, okay? Failing to plan is planning to fail. So, if you don't plan your life properly, then you, you need to understand that there are a lot of hours, minutes, seconds in your life which you will waste without even knowing. So planning is very important. But if you feel, oh, let things be the way it is, you know, why to plan, why to waste so much time, why to do this, why to do that. Yeah, let's just be the way you are and uh, yeah, let life go on. Well, well if this is, that is what you think, then there's a serious problem because you are not going to know where your time is going, where you are wasting your time. But if you don't feel the need at all to plan, then problem with your lagnesh, okay? Number four, this is specially for managers and leaders. You cannot delegate things. So you are either uh, you are either like uh, least bothered or you are a perfectionist, okay? So which means you you need to get something done. So you try to do everything yourself or you cannot um, hire somebody else to do it no, or you cannot get it done from your subordinates in your company or, you know, anywhere, okay? So, if you have problem delegating, see, because delegating requires a very vital skill is to uh, identify who can do what, okay? Whom can you delegate what, okay? So, if you do not have that skill, then you have to cultivate that, okay? Otherwise, uh, life will become tougher and tougher because you only have 24 hours, okay? And then we have number five. You love to be pessimistic. Pessimistic. You are you are primarily pessimistic. Oh, what will happen to the world? You know, what will happen to India? What will happen to USA? What will happen to my company? What will happen to my marriage? I will never get married. I will never have a good career. I will never have children. I will never have followers. I will never have subscribers. I will never have this a car. I will never have a home. I will never have this. I will never have that. Oh my God, you're so pessimistic. <laughs> So if you feel you are always pessimistic, no, everybody is pessimistic to some extent. You know. Everybody, there's nobody who is not. But if this is becoming perpetually like a character trait, that whenever you open your mouth, you are just speaking negative things, then mm, you know, people uh, then people will call you a pessimist and that's not good. So if that is happening, your Lagnesh is in trouble. Take action. Number six. You're very bad with money and resources. This is this is like number one. This is also another way to easily identify. Okay. Where is your Lagnesh? What is it doing? Is it good or bad? So if you cannot handle money properly, see, because why do I say money? Not because you should become a millionaire or a billionaire. No, I don't say that. Because of that. But the reason is money is a way of control. Okay. Money is a way by which you can get things done. So when you say I'm bad with money, you are essentially saying I'm bad with resources, okay? You are bad with your own money. You are even worse with other person's money. <laughs> so for example, somebody lended you some money and you promised, oh, well, yeah, I'll give you back within a year. And then that person has to keep hitting you. Hey, where's my money? Give my money, give my money. Give me, give me, give me. But you don't give. And you are like, oh, when did I take it? I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. And then that person has to show you, hey, this is the proof that you have taken uh, this much money from me and then, uh, yeah, so now you got to do it, right? But you don't, you are so careless, you don't bother at all, all right? Then number seven. Number seven is a culmination of all this, actually. So when you do all this, what happens? Then number seven happens, which is nobody trusts you. Okay, you are speaking lies or you are giving commitments, but you are not fulfilling, you are over-promising, under-delivering, you are being irresponsible, you don't, don't, uh, you don't do your duty properly and then what happens? Nobody trusts you, okay? Why do people don't trust you? Because they know uh, you just blabber and you never uh, do what you've said, okay? So why should they trust you indeed, okay? Number eight, you exaggerate problems, okay? This is very important because Many times life will throw problems and mostly life will throw problems at you. But a good Lagna Lord person will always know the reality of the problems and he or she will calculate. Okay, this is my problem. These are my resources. How should I handle it? 
what you if you have a bad luck mesh you will always show as if you have the worst problem in the entire universe okay your problems are bigger than the problems of you know the presidents or prime ministers of different countries you know so your problem like there could be serious problems of course but some petty problems okay you will exaggerate them as if like it's the end of the world okay and everybody can see that you are just bluffing all right so therefore please exaggerate problems but be in a limit <laughs> All right, number nine, you generalize things and people, oh, all Biharis are like this, all Punjabis are like this, all Gujaratis are like this, all white people are like this, all black people are like this, you know, all Koreans are like this, all Germans are like this. Or, you know, okay, this place is like this, this place is like So, why this happens is because your vision is so narrow-minded that you take selective experiences and you put a label on everything else, okay? Like some people, some communities, they may have some habits which are not that great. But does it mean that every other person in the community has it? Well, certainly not. But because of a bad luck niche, because of your mindset, you may feel, oh, yeah, yeah, everybody is like this actually. Okay. Number 10. Number 10 is actually subtle, but it is also very important. Number 10 is that you cannot change your opinion even if provided with contrary evidence. So you believe something and then somebody proves it to you that, hey, my dear sir, my dear madam, that what you are thinking or believing or speaking or accusing or who you are accusing is not correct. Please don't do it. Look, this is the proof. This is the evidence. You are just bluffing. You are speaking nonsense. Please stop it. So even when somebody gives you some genuine proof or explanation, which is actually genuine by scientific, social, moral, religious, scriptural standards, you don't accept it. Why? Because your vision has become so narrow. So basically what happens? What does these pointers suggest? When you have a bad luck niche, your vision becomes very narrow and you cannot think properly. So therefore, try to expand your vision. Read more, read about people, read about different ideas, read about contrary ideas, you know, become more spiritual, take gyan and knowledge from the sadhus and do spiritual practices, you know, learn about great scriptural personalities, no, then you will understand that life is much broad and you, your problems are not as big and you should be responsible. Okay, so if you have five, six, seven of these, then well, please take care of your life. If your lagnish is not proper, then you will have a difficult life. Okay, whatever comes as per your karma that you, you will screw it up. So even if good things come, you will still screw it up. Okay, and even if bad things come, if you have a good lagnish, You will be able to handle things properly and you will make the best use of a bad bargain. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And share it with somebody who you think needs help regarding these 10 qualities. And for consultations, you will always find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him. Thank you.